All right, folks, here's a very quick functions demo. Let's get out of PowerPoint. Let's go into Snap. Snap is in the browser. You want to go into Chrome and make sure your view is saying enter presentation mode. And I'm already in it, so I'm loving it, OK? So now, here's how you make a function. You go to the variables tab in the upper left. And you scroll to the bottom, and there's a make a block button. That make a block button lets you choose. To make a block is how we're making those things. So the guys on the left are not things that are just coming down from the mountaintop. You can make your own block and feel very empowered that you can also contribute to the set of blocks that are available. The first thing you do is you ask yourself, what tab do I want the block to live under? This will help you organize yourself. As you're making 100 blocks, you just put them in the one big list. It'll be hard to find things. You put them in a color based on what they're going to do. So if we're going to make a draw square block, we're going to probably say motion. Okay? So you can start typing. By the way, you also want to click on command, which it is defaulted to, and you say draw a square. Look at this. I can put spaces in there. I love it. Okay? And so I'm going to say, let's not have an input for now. I'll show you how to make an input later. And I'm going to say it's a motion block. And watch what happens. It all turns blue. Love that. You say go. And there is your block editor. And you say, but, oh, I meant to have an argument there. Right? So, and you know it's going to be, it's going to be repeat, which is a control block. And you get a repeat number of times. OK. Repeat. And there's a clicking sound, which is great. Add the clicking sound if you like that stuff. And you're going to move some number of steps. And you're going to turn 90 degrees. Right? Just make it easy, OK? So this is going to be draw a square of 100. It's already locked in. So this really should be draw 100 square. And watch. I can actually add. I can go and add a plus here. The plus is normally on your list. I took, turned the plus off with my settings. I can say size 100. Size 100. Watch this. And I just added some words to my title. Isn't that kind of cool? Now, if I hit apply, watch, apply, and I scroll in my motion, look, there it showed up. Draw a size 100 square. Isn't that great? If you want to take that out and say, no, I want to be more general, well, let's first take this out. And or, let's take, look at this. Take 100 and make it a length. Click on input name. I'm going to say length. I hit OK. And now it's this Bartholomew Cubbins hat. Watch this. I take it away, and it's still there. I take it away, and it's still there. See that? So you could be pulling that out and putting it in many different places. That's an argument. I take this, I drag it into move. Bam. And now, watch. Notice it's still here, because I haven't hit apply yet. I hit apply, yoink, and now there's a hole there. Now, the hole is square. Many holes are round, because they're numbers. So one subtle thing is you click on this, and I can change it back to a title text if I wanted to. I don't want to do that. I can click this right arrow and tell it this is a little editor that you don't have to use until you get more sophisticated, where you can click number. You can also give it a default input, like default input to 100. Watch this. And now, when I say OK and apply, notice the 100 showed up down the corner, and it's rounder. Just a nice thing for you to use if you want to do that. Okay? And it'll say length equals 100. So by default, it's 100, just because it's over there. And now you say OK. And now we can try this. And let's see if it works. Bink didn't work because I didn't put the pen down. That's fine. It's just a move block. So put a pen down before, put a pen up afterwards. And here we see, I'm going to go back here and try this. You click, and did it draw a thing? Let's see if I can zoom out. And there it is. Awesome. One of the things you can learn is you can make this smaller. This is the full size size. I'm zooming in, so it's doing something weird. That's the full size stage. That's the half size stage. If you hold shift, the magic shift, it goes to mini stage, the smallest possible stage. So if you're, what you're doing is about programming, not about doing the stage, put the stage out of the way by holding shift down, make it very small. That was, we added that recently. So watch. Now I can change this to be size. You may have to make this kind of half size to see it here. So our size, let's try it, 50. Let's also clear this before. And bink, and there, 50 square. Love it, right? Just love this. Now, you can also make a block by holding control down the modifier key or right clicking and clicking in the background. And one of these, these are all hidden menus you can get. All hidden menus. And this is make a block right there. Brings you up to the same thing. OK? That's awesome. So you can also do that here. If I want to delete that, and I don't want this draw size anymore, I want to get that definition out of there. If I right click on this, I can say delete block definition. And that undoes the create a block. I made a block, and I now delete a block. OK? So that demo was how to make a block. Now you're ready to start making blocks, make function, make reporters. Have some fun, folks. Enjoy. Thanks so much. <laughs>